Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes. We're on the last one of the week, it's Friday, baby. <laughs> it's Friday for you guys. Not Friday for me. It's, uh, if you want to know a little secret, uh, there goes my power. That's the secret. If you want to know a little secret, though, um, it's actually Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Still. <laughs> it, the reason is, is because, um, I'm having to record satisfactory episodes uh, back to back to back to back to back to back. Um, so, uh, because of the holiday. So, um, that's why that is. Yes. Say so welcome back to our modded playthrough. Look at all that. Look at all those mods. <laughs> There's only a few here and there. Um, but yeah, if you want to know what those mods are, um, the just it, the mods list is down in the description section, along with, um, along with the uh, the mods uh, author. So the mods authors uh, for all the mods are also listed there as well, as um, says Factory Mod Manager is also in the description section. Very easy to use. Just click the link, go straight. It takes you straight to the website, and you can just. Uh, you, you just hit the satisfactory mod manager there at the top of the page. It downloads and it's there. It downloads um, the exe and you just run it. It'll install it onto your computer. Um, and after that, you can look up all the mods that are currently available for satisfactory um, very easily and download and install them straight through the mod manager, so you don't have to. Um, drag files into folders, or drag folders into folders, or folders into files, or whichever <laughs> whichever way you feel like doing it, or whichever way you had to do it before. Uh, you don't have to do that, it's not super complicated like that at all. And uh, it also keeps your mods up to date, as well as lets you know when any mods, well it doesn't keep your mods up to date, but uh, it lets you know when any mods need updating. And then you just click, you just click a single button, you hit a, click a, update all and it'll update all your mods for you automatically which is really nice so you no longer have to worry about is this mods up to date is this mod going to work with the next update um, they also have a discord channel so you can join them over on discord as well if you need help or having any issues you can go on to their their discord and that's also in the satisfactory mod manager i think i think it's in the mod manager it's either that or it's on the website you get a invite link to it um, and you can get help there if you're struggling with the mod or, or with mods or, or whatever. Or, or you can also go there and report bugs and stuff like that. So, really nice of them. I forgot to pull the switch. But yes. Uh, very easy to do. It's just like the Steam Workshop if you use Steam. Uh, very easy to use and whatnot. So, should you wish to mod your own game? and you have not done so yet. Um, I'd recommend doing it, but uh, start out with only a few mods at a time. Uh, just like modding with anything. There's going to be bugs, there's going to be problems at some point with, with certain mods and such, so you know, just got to keep an eye out. Uh, and uh, what not. But anyway, yes, we're on the game. If you were... Or we're on the game. <laughs> we're on Satisfactory now. Um... Yeah, so I am recording back to back to back before the um, uh, before the Thanksgiving holiday, but you'll be seeing this episode most likely after. Uh, well, uh, it's you will be seeing this episode after Thanksgiving, not most likely. You will be actually be seeing it after Thanksgiving. So there's that. Um, yeah, hope you had a good holiday. I have yet to determine for mine. <laughs> But yes, I have to record so I can spend time with family and what's not. Um, and such. For days off and whatnot. So I'm recording everything. Uh, I'm recording everything all on the same day for the entire week. That way you guys don't miss an episode in case you want to watch something or what's not. I can be pretty boring though, so you know, be aware of that. <laughs> yeah, if you remember last time we got our concrete machines up and going. We got these beautiful. I need to remove these. 
they're not beautiful yet, but uh, we got these, so they're going to come through here, but we're going to put like uh, some framing uh, framing pillars on them between the, the legs, and they'll double as uh, uh, conveyor lifts. I think it'll look pretty good. Um, we got the concrete hooked up, and we re completely redid all of the screw machines. So, um, yeah, here's all of the screw machines. We completely redid all of these. Um, which is uh, really good and uh, whatnot. So yeah, um, and then the agenda for today is going to be um, it's going to be uh, redoing the next set of machines, um, but also hooking up both the screw. Uh, factory and the plates factory up to the center here and like I've said many times many many times before uh, these buildings are going to look very very similar on the outside for now but once we start unlocking some really cool decorations and stuff and, and uh, some good walls and windows and such and we'll we'll, um, we'll separate them out make them look a little bit different they're all right they're gonna all be relatively rectangle kind of uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s kind of um, skyscraper style. We're not going for super modern or anything. Um, I do uh, old and boxy. Sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> it sounds like I'm in some, into some weird shit. <laughs> old and boxy. Uh, but yeah, so there is that as well. Um, and we still have 73,500 concrete left. So we have a lot of concrete to get through. Um, but yeah, we need to... I don't think we're going to be redoing anything. Um, we're more than likely going to be figuring out how to... Um, we're going to be figuring out how to pull off of the belt here. Uh, for plates and screws. Uh, because we need plates and screws to um, to go along here. That's what we need. It's plates and screws. Um, and I have just an idea on how I... Because I, you know, I could fit up to three belts wide on this. Um, I figured two belts would probably do it. But yeah, we're going to be pulling plates and screws down this way for our... Um, for our plate machine. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll split that between, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to split that between that and frames um, and whatnot, so we'll see how she goes. Yeah, I think I'm going to do, I do have an idea. So it's, is it there? Let's see here. Climb up my ladder. Yeah, it's right there. All right, cool. So I need to figure out if I can have a way. I got an idea. I just, I just got an idea. Um, it won't look right for a little while, but <laughs> I think it'll be pretty cool. So what if we did this? What if we did architecture? We pulled a barrier right there. We grab a wall. Not there. Ah! I shouldn't have walked forward. Break me ankles. I think it's... Is it here? That we'd want the wall? Maybe. So then we take this.
Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. That works really well, actually. Let's see. Shall we do? Shall we? Shall we do three? I think we should do three. We'll do three wide on this. The reason is because I'm going to need two things of screws. Oops. It's actually. Let's go there. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Oh, they did not make doing this easy. If I'm on that side of it. He's right there. Yeah. You know, actually, I think there might be a mod for this. Let me look real quick. Alrighty. I am back. And yes, that was a split second for you. <laughs> it was a little bit for me. Um, yes, so I went looking for a mod and I did find one. So the mod in question is called Wall Conveyor Supports by um, Marcio Huser. Marcio. Marcio. Huer. Huser. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry, I'm butchering it like crazy. But yeah, wall conveyor support. So apparently we get some, um, we do get uh, multiple wall conveyor supports up to three, it looks like. Uh, and we lo unlock it through the man, possibly. That's what it looks like from the picture. Okay, yeah. So we unlock it through the, uh, unlock it through the store. So let me remove these real quick. I don't know if we have enough tickets to um, support that, though. Uh, it looks like a, it looks like it costed twelve tickets, which is a bit on the pricey side. Just a little bit on the pricey side, man. Okay, let's go check it out. So it should be with management. Yeah, there it is. Twelve tickets. What happens if we hit buy? Not enough coupons. Okay, I thought it might just work. But nope, we need twelve coupons for that. Let's see, how many do we have? We have five. Oh, we're about to have... Um, we're about to have six. Let's see, we need six coupons to my inventory here. These might be worth a bet. These rotors. We made 64 rotors. That might be worth a little bit. Let's put those in there. Yeah, those are worth a little bit. Um, what else do I have? I think I have some, uh, some motors as well. We have some motors from one of those crash sites. Like that, we got that. Um, oh yeah, I need two of these, so I'm not going to get rid of that. I need to get two of those for the, the Xeno Basher. Um, I really don't have anything that's worth anything, really. Okay, I'm going to put in some motors. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that's going to get us 12, but that'll get us quite a bit. Oh, we're jumping. We are jumping by a lot. I don't want to get rid of my reinforced platings. So I have seven tickets now. 
Um, hmm. I don't know if we if we took a little bit of an adventure, we might be able to find some uh, some wrecks and such. I don't know though. And we need uh, we need twelve tickets to do that with. So that means we need to find a, a wreck with a bunch of uh, other stuff. You know, even though I have uh, the mod with ten times ticket or ten times points for everything, um, either the mod itself is not working, or uh, or the uh, it's still just ridiculous. The amount of the the amount of stuff is worth. It's absolutely ridiculously low. <laughs> 12 tickets is a bit harsh um, for that but uh, we can deal I think uh, there's a wreck up there but I think I've already been to that one yeah it's because I because I cut down this huge forest over here this used to be a big old forest now it's just uh Kind of a wasteland, a little bit. See, I don't know where all the wrecks are uh, on this side of the map. I know where... Oh, is that one up there? Uh, maybe. Now my voice is cracking. <laughs> I've done a lot of recording today. Uh, it's one of them things. Foundations... I think I've been up to this one. Because I was chopping down trees over here. We'll see if I've been to this one or not. Uh, either I've been to this one or... There's just nothing here. That sometimes happens too in this game. Sometimes the materials just don't spawn around it. And some of these wrecks, cause, uh, just because of where they're placed. We haven't been to that one. I can actually see items there. We need one quick wire. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Okay, well that one's a dud. It's like, I know there's a few wrecks around here. So. Oh, hello. Hi! I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> no thanks. It's iron. Oh, I need one cookware. Hold on. Oh, whoops. Uh, boop. Yeah, one quick wire. That's pretty cheap. The ones I'm used to require, like, at least, like, 20 of something or 50 of something. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been to that wreck yet. Uh, we do have the concrete. Let's, uh, aim it up. It's a lot of concrete. That's just there's some goodies over here. Hopefully some higher material stuff. Not just like, I see screws and I'm just like, ah, oh, I don't need screws. Or reinforced plates really. Or wire. Why? I mean, it's worth grabbing, I suppose, but... No, I was hoping for... You know, some higher-valued stuff. Why do you gotta be so mean? Is there any other wrecks around? Not around here. 
least not that I could see. There's some reinforced platings. Or was that just... Might have been just this thing. What does this need, anyway? It's, oh, of course it needs five frames. You know, it needs the higher material stuff to unlock it, but it refuses to give. Yeah, the hard drives I just don't care to collect anymore because I got a be I got an easier and better way of doing it. Well, not easier, I suppose. I suppose that it is easier in a way, but it's also very expensive. <laughs> Which I think balances itself out. Yeah, look like there's anything really over here worth taking. I remember that wreck right up there, up on that hill. Was it that one? The one, yeah, the one right next to, uh, to here. Had, like, circuit boards on it that time. We found that in one of the early, early episodes. I done sunk them already, um, for something else. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a wreck up on one of these hills or something. Do you have the concrete? I can use. I can even use the camera uh, to look around, see if there's any wrecks. I see one. I think. Let's move this over. Just real quick. It's nice if the camera doesn't move with you. It would be old shift. definitely a wreck, isn't it? Ooh, buddy. <laughs> We're going far. I just need some... I just need a few materials that are... That'll get us tickets really quickly. Because um, I need those wall conveyors. <laughs> I need this in my life. Jeez, how far did we go? <laughs> um, oh, I don't see any wrecks, fortunately. I thought I saw one with the camera, but... I don't see any wrecks up here, unfortunately. Do I see any wrecks in my area? No? So I can see... See that one. I think the other one's there. Or something like that. There's two wrecks in this area. Uh, there's Paradise Island. That's what they're getting rid of. Or what they're trying to get rid of for Update 7. I think. Either they're trying to get rid of it or they've gotten rid of it. I'm not sure. I was hoping they didn't though. That's a cool little area. Paradise Island. It's like, oh, it's too close to the void. It's like, so? <laughs> Let us worry about that. I want Paradise Island. It's a nice little, nice little, um, spot there. Just unfortunate that they want to get rid of it. It's like, it, it's like, if you really want to solve it that badly, you know, to be too close to the death zone or whatever, just expand the death zone. Surely you can do that, right? Uh, unfortunate. We couldn't find anything. Uh, I mean, if we really looked, we could probably find something. But I'm not going to spend all this time looking for it when we can be doing better things and just letting the tickets stack up for time.
just like it's it's just not worth the, the hassle to be honest. Unless there's another wreck nearby our base, uh, or nearby our base. I keep saying our base, but it's not a base. It's, 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 it's well, it's a base right now, but it is a city. It's becoming one very slowly. We'll just hop up here on the wall, or up the wall, up on the street. There you go. Now we're in the upper section of the city. This is going to go even higher, I think. Um, I think I want to expand it up that way. I'm not sure yet, though. I need to figure out um, where everything else is going to be first. Unfortunate. We just don't have the materials. Yeah, we got them. We got it closer. <laughs> so I'll just have to worry about that later. Um, whoa. Radiation? What the hell? I've never had radiation while walking down the street here. Hold on, I think there's... Yeah, that's, that's... That's not that close. That's really far away. Unless there's also some up here. See, there's this one. Oop. It's there. But we are taking radiation clear over here. Unless there's, like I said, unless there's another one. Which there might be. I think it's probably time to get rid of that. Um, time to dispose of that material. Oof. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. Alright. I'm going to have a plan here. Ugh. I just need to get it over to the box. Oh, jeez. That stuff is very dangerous. <laughs> All I did was pick up a little bit. Man, I just need to get it... Um... Actually, you know what? Why don't we just do it this way? There we go. We'll mine it and put it in the box. We're probably going to die a bunch, so I'm just going to put all my stuff over here. Like, we don't need any of it anyway. That way I don't have to keep picking up my crap. Uh, dang it. Uh, give me those rods. Sure. Okay, um, uh, give me those rods and give me those as well, and those, I'll put those in there, okay, now we can put rods in that, and then, oops, like I said, we're probably going to die a few times here. Trying to remove this. Okay, there's more food there. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up. Oops, I went too fast. I got an auto clicker. <laughs> Alright, where's this? There it is. Come on, come on, come on. I 
can't heal fast enough. Can't get out of there. Sheesh. I was scared because I was get uh, it, I picked up the leaf and I was trying to access that. Oh my gosh, it's so dangerous. <laughs> We're getting rid of this though. We need to. Okay. Go. Oh my gosh, the auto save lag. Like. Yeah, put it in the box. Oh, oh, that's gonna be annoying to get. Oh, we're gonna need to heal up as well. It was so annoying because I couldn't, I couldn't get it into the fucking box. It's like, eh. I was trying. I was trying, man. A lot of these berries grow around here. Get it in there. Alright, I'm gonna back out and heal each time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Just having a little bit in your inventory is bad enough, but... Yeah, there's nothing I can do as well. I just have to hope it breaks soon. Now it's just the box that's contaminated. Okay, let's get out of there. Alright, let me go grab my stuff. <laughs> we only died once. Yay! <laughs> that's our first death, I think, as well. Die to uranium poisoning, man. That's, uh, that's harsh. <laughs> that's real harsh. But we planned for it. I... Obviously, I knew I was going to die. And now I'm low on food. But we'll be getting rid of a problem. That's been a problem for a while. I just didn't notice, notice all of a sudden the radiation is starting to spill out, I guess. Alright, sort my inventory this into my other hand. Okay. This is going to suck. Wait. Oh, it's on, I'm on the wrong end. Whoops. Yeah, this, like I said, this is going to suck. Until this is all gone. Quickly, plus here it comes radiation time. That might actually get us some points. There we go. Get out of here. I do not want to have to deal with you. I wonder being this close, am I going to get poisoned? Oh, I ain't getting poisoned at all. Huh. I guess I become resistant. <laughs> all right. Oh, 
Oh, it's it's here though. Wait a minute. Okay, we'll have to access it from the side. Is that uh? Yeah, it's it's going down a fair bit. With that. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. Okay, all the radiation's gone. This guy is. Just second this out here. Okay, well, at least uh, that's out of here. Wait, radiation level? Where? Where? Is it just going to be irradiated for a long time? Where that was? So there's no radiation there. Hopefully that heals over time. I might have to stop taking damage to it. Yeah, we have a lot of screws already, so I'm just going to sink the screws as well. Okay. Wow, that was um, a lot of... Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't believe we took radiation poisoning. And they died. We're now a clone of our former selves. Okay, we're gonna take radiation damage? No, we're not taking radiation damage anymore. Good. Good. This is very good. Okay, uh, let's redo our power here real quick. Just fill up on it. I'm starting to run low on this stuff again. Just to make sure that this lasts all episode. Then I need to go chop down some more forests <laughs> at some point. Okay. It didn't take very long. I actually need a bit of that, just so I can chop down a tree or two. Alrighty. So yeah, while we wait for that, um, I might have to purchase that at some other point. Unfortunate. Um, guess we can temporarily put those in place. With some like belt, uh, with some just some uh, run-of-the-mill standard belt stuff. Um, or whatever. Production. No architecture. That's what I need. So we can climb back up to the top um, at that point as well. So yeah, first of all, we need to get all of our belts this way. Oh, whoops, I'm going too far. <laughs> Happens. Is going to be the steel lines. These are the irons. And coppers. Never catch me alive, coppers. No. 
last one. Okay. There's, uh... <laughs> it's gonna take a while, because, um... The further we get uh, closer to the, the space elevator, the uh, more belts there's going to be across here. Getting longer, longer and longer. It's getting crazy. Oh. Need some more reinforced plating. See, this is why we need to um, get those uh, reinforced platings up as soon as possible. I don't know if we're going to do that this episode. I'm going to try, though, because we've got everything else in place for it. Um, I just need to get all the belts up to the end of this road here for now. Um, uh, that way I can merge in the other belts. And then we can start getting set up. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen this episode. <laughs> I'm just going to take all that I can. This copper in here because we're going to be using a bunch of it. Yes, yes. But yeah, there's just there's so much to redo and all that too. So I can't uh, can't blame us for. Uh, you can't blame me for trying to <laughs> get things right. I'm trying to get things uh, to look good. But, uh, yeah, you kind of got to balance both both worlds. Yeah, things, not only do you want them to look good, but you also want them to work. You want them to be functional. Unless you're building a creative, then it don't matter. Oh, by the way, none of this, uh, none of this is uh, planned out. This is all, um, this is all just off the top, thought of type of stuff. Like once once it gets rolling, then a plan can be formed, but a plan is not formed beforehand. Yeah, I'm sure it shows as well. <laughs> I was just thinking about something. The main bus is getting longer. Longer and longer.
there we go. So now we got to bring the screws and the rods here, or the screws and the um, plates here. So we're going to get rid of these two supports here. And then we're going to put up this one here. So what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, since I'm just going directly over here, I might put a set of splitters um, right here. And then just have the screws immediately go that way. And then bring the plates across. So, kind of like... Actually, I might put a wall there for now. Um, just for now. Um, until we get that unlocked. There we go. Just like that. So two of them are going to be screws. One of them is going to be plates. I think. I think that's how I want it. Or should we put four here? Two plates, two screws. I mean, it is going to need, eventually, wait, 500 and, oh, what is it, 720 plates a minute? That'd be quite a high standard. Yeah, we'll just use the wall. I think we'll be fine. Not we can always redo, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, logistics. Um, conveyor splitter. I don't know if I can connect between the two splitters like that. So I suppose we'll just do this and do this. It'll look a little bit weird, but I think it'll be all right. Let's see, let's see how this looks. We're gonna make sure we're connecting Two. <laughs> Looks rather odd, doesn't it? There, get rid of the two. See if there's screws in. There's screws in both of those, I think. Uh, looks like it. Okay. Cool. Oh, crap, I need to be up there. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I caught it. Ooh, that was close. Let's see if we're going to take our conveyor poles here. One from the edge. So there and there, this is going to be for the screws. Then uh, conveyor merger. I'm actually going to go on this side. Um, yeah, that should work there. And... work there. Okay. And there's a reason I'm putting these mergers down so I can make a, an exact right angle. Um, see like I do here. Um, when stuff rejoins the, or when stuff joins the system. Put the two mergers next to each other. Okay. I just, I had to come back and check to see how I did the other one. So yeah, put the two mergers next to each other, and then we'll, uh, then we'll work from there. Alrighty. 
So there and there. Yep, that works. Right, then we'll use just a normal conveyor lift. And we want to connect to this top one. Switch the input. And we did hear it snap, so it should, uh, should work. Okay, those are, both, those are now both hooked up. Now we're going to get a logistics. This one. Put that one into the side. Make sure that one's only working on the one. Yes, it is. Okay, and then that one there. And we'll make sure they both work first. Yep, they both work. Okay, cool. Then we remove the bear pole. Grab on to two more of these. Yep, and the lifts are also working. Cool. Looks good, looks good. Alright, so screws are now hooked into the system. And the screws will go that way, and like I said, I'll have I'll have one belt of plates going up to there because we need plates up there so I'll have to split it off at all these belts man looking good looking good we yeah we haven't hooked this up yet so we're gonna have to do that as well and then we're gonna merge towards the east here so let's grab our conveyor mergers and we're going to do it just like we did with the screws last episode. Hit H. Um, and then 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to hold the P key. Yeah. It's like, unfortunately, I can't see the camera there. The camera's facing a wall. <laughs> Zoom that back. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to hold Shift and Z at the same time and go 2, 3, 4, 5. And remove the mergers we don't want. covered lifts from the machine to the thing. Oh. Whoops. Yeah. That's fine. I don't mind that. I should have went to the wall. Actually, yeah. Let's let's go to the wall. Get rid of these. I'll get some plates back anyway. But uh, yeah, let's go to the wall. So, yeah, we're still merging to the east there. Two, three, four, five. Oh. That was a mistake. Whoops. I thought I... Didn't I separate those? Could have swore I did. Bear merger, all the way against the wall, H. Shift C, two, five. That's better.
Yeah, because I place my machines all the same way, I know that um, I know that these are all in the correct spot. Now they will line up. Okay, then we'll do our conveyor lifts covered. It's like it should be just uh, just enough to hook in. Yeah, without the camera going. <laughs> that build camera, man. I like the build camera. It's really handy, but man, is it laggy. If you could tone down the detail of it, maybe that'd make it less laggy. If that was possible. I have no idea if it is or not. <laughs> And of course, my computer's also falling apart. My uh, my graphics card is uh, failing, so that does make sense. That is not, uh, or that is laggy like that. See, so I'm all the way against the wall. Merge this way. H. Two, three, four, five. Let's go all the way to the end here. Hold the P key. Right there. Shift Z. Two, three, four, five. Then uh, covered lift. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Not trying. that. No, oops. I guess I'll just grab it from here. Yeah. Still haven't, still have yet to be able to uh, switch over to uh, experimental for update 7. I may end up having to wait all the way until um, uh, uh, having to wait until um, it comes out on uh, the uh, early access branch. I was trying to think of the damn name and I couldn't. Okay, get this. I'm putting this wall in because I'm going to use uh, wall conveyors here. I'm going to redo this entire wall as well. This is the second to last wall. That I need to redo. Okay. This is one of my favorite features about the smart mod. You can do. See, normally in game you'd only be able to do this, but I can also do. Or we can also do this. So one, two, three, and then we need that single wall there. Throw that across because that marks a floor. Just like that. Like, yeah, I might as well. <laughs> I might as well redo the wall because it needs redone. This that saves me from forgetting later. Two, 
two, three. Grab that. Rest. One and two. There we are. Perfect. Now we're all set up and everybody's the same. Uh, everybody has the same walls. Everybody has the, a very similar setup. If not the same setup. Well, not everybody, but the, the, the two factories that we've done. So far. Two, three. Yeah, I believe it's there and there. And then this goes here and here. And then we place one in the middle of the factory, which is right here. Right in this wall here. So there, right? Yeah, because it's one, one, yep, okay. All right, cool. So now I need to go over to this factory and I need to see how it was done. So I can copy, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Okay, so goes into a floor hole. So we'll put two. We'll put two foundations, and we'll get the floor hole here next to that one. The floor hole there. Okay. Yeah, we'll try and copy that. So we'll put the foundations down, get the floor holes in, and um, then connect our lifts. So it's like this, I think, or is it like this? Okay. Oh, I've already forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Alright, so this floor hole is not on this foundation, but it is on this foundation. So it's not there, but it's there because it's touching the center, the center box. And then, yeah, just like that. Okay. Just want to make sure I copy it correctly. Um, so it's touching the center, so... Just like that. And then conveyor, we just use normal conveyors here. So you can kind of see the product going up. Just like that. Yep, and that is connected because you can see the outstretched um, accordion bit going like mostly through the thing because it's kind of stuck in there. Yeah, let's see where this next one is. And yeah, um, like all this week, these episodes have been going a little bit longer um, than normal. Uh, just because we're kind of, uh, I think just because we're kind of redoing, we're also uh, around the holidays. So why not? I figure. So it's on this foundation like that. Okay, got it. Is it right there, or was it, was it next to this wall, or on the other side of it? On the other side of the foundation? Oh, it was on the other side, whoops. Well, I thought I had it. <laughs> okay, so it's actually here instead. So grab a... There we go. Okay, now we should be able to just directly hook this up, just like that. Okay. So now we're gonna uh, we're gonna go up. And we're gonna see how it's done um, on the top side. Oh yeah, and I remember this too. Put a foundation, temporary foundation right here. Okay. Um, so yeah, it just looks like uh, 
two conveyor mergers they're hooked up to right in front of the walls. And then we got two splitters. I'm guessing that's five up as well. Two, three, four, yeah. Okay. And then we've got two covered lifts hooked into itself, essentially. So two splitters. Um, just to kind of push it into this system here. All right, cool. And I'm going to use this ladder to get out. So mergers on the bottom, splitters on the top. Connect by conveyor lifts. Oh my gosh, look at this. So much material. I like it though. Put a foundation there. So you can get over to this wall here. Okay. So logistics, conveyor merger, going that way, and then another merger next to it. Oh no, they were next to the wall. Right, right, right. Merger. So yeah, they were here instead. There we go. And then just the regular uh, conveyor lift. Look at me T-posing. Oh, I'm sliding around now. Oh, I'm still T-posing, kind of. Hello there. Hello and welcome to... Um, Ice Skating 101. What the fuck is wrong with me? There we go. Okay, and then conveyor... Uh, conveyor splitters. Let's see, this one's going to... Yeah, we need to make sure we do that as well. Two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Because they're going to be coming in the same exact way on this floor as well. So we need to make sure we get that correct. Two, three, four, five. We get rid of the middle three. Yeah, I remember how we did this now. And then we hooked it into uh, the center. There. So now those will um, those will go directly down and into these mergers on the inside lanes or inside ones. What the heck happened here? Why does this look... Does that look odd to you? It does. It does look odd. Whoops. I think I did this. I did this, uh, this belt wrong. Yeah, definitely. Glad I caught that. Thanks for the help, chat. <laughs> it's one down. Now, hit this in. Okay, now it's straight. I thought that looked weird. All right, and now we're hooked in. So now we just got to get it into the main belt system, as well as splitting it to go along this building here. We'll get one of the lines to split. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm also gonna get rid of this ladder. If I can, there it is. What? Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, and this, this supports like right in the way as well. Yeah, we're going to have a lift 
Hold on, let me make this lift. Go this way real quick. There we go. So, one, two. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of all these supports in here, because uh, we're not going to have room for that. But it'll look supported, at least. Ooh. Nearly kicked me out. Oh, I think it did. <laughs> no! Let me in. Yeah. <laughs> I win. <laughs> So yeah, we're just going to hook this here, get rid of that, get rid of that, and then we're just going to drag this all the way across. To somewhere. We'll, we'll just drag it to there for now, um, until I get the, um, the splitter in place. So I'm going to split this, um, I'm going to split this line here. Um, because this one's the closest, so. Configure splitter. So like this. I just thought of how I can get both of those into one line. So we put conveyor splitter, conveyor splitter, just like we did over there. Oops. So we do that. And then, of course, we hook them up. <sighs> Tight squeeze. Okay, that just have plates. And that's hooked up to it, hopefully. Okay, conveyor splitter, conveyor splitter. And then I'm going to put a... Um, conveyor merger right here. Yeah, just like this. I think. Uh, we'll just do the one splitter for now. Um, it's fine. I wanted to converge the line somehow, but I don't think that's going to work for me. No, we'll just go like this. Let's get rid of... That and that and that. Yep, we are getting plates inside of it as well. Very nice. Okay, so there's our um, there's our two belts of screws and our one belt of plates going over. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Now we got to get this set up here. I'm gonna get a quick ladder here and there. Nice little temporary ladder.
go up here and hit. Nope. No, you can't jump from a ladder if you're on it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Cool. So now we'll get a foundation, put it here. Uh, grab a conveyor pole. One from the edge. Just like that. We're going to go on this side. Oop, don't fall off. All right, then we're going to go conveyor mergers. Just to get it where we want it. So there and there. And then the regular conveyor lift. Okay, inputs are correct. Yep, and that did that did snap in. That did snap in. Okay. Cool. We'll grab our belt again. Hook it to there, and to there, and we're gonna stand here and make sure it works. It is getting plates to it, and it is getting plates to it. Very good. Same with this one. This one goes there. Okay, now we'll wait for it. Yep, we got plates. Cool. Alright, we are now hooked into the main bus, pretty much. I just gotta fix a few things. Oh, I forgot to remove these beams here. Okay, those beams are now removed. Well, it's not that I forgot, it's just I didn't get that far. Okay. Oh, right, we gotta remove these. Can't have these in there. Oop. And now we have iron plates joining. Very nice. And these three empty belts, these are going to be steel. So we're going to have all the um, raw ingots, all the ingots in the middle here. Um, and whatnot, so. Very good, very good. It's a little bit wonky in certain areas, but we make it work, right? All that's going to be shrouded in framing anyway. It was shrouded in the foundation frame, foundation frame bits, and whatnot. So yeah, there's that. Okay. Very good. I like it. We removed all that, all that. Yep, we remove those as well. Okay. We yeah. Alrighty. And then just to make it easy. Let's see, where's the middle of this building? One, two, so this right here. Okay, cool. So here's how we'll do this. For now, <laughs> for now, until we get um, until we get that stuff unlocked, that might be next Monday or something. Maybe I'll just let the game run, let my tickets pile up. All right, and then we need a regular wall. And then we need this wall. Because that's the wall that hooks onto. Okay, now we'll just remove these. It's only temporary. Although we could make that look pretty cool, I, I, would, I would think. Just sticks. And we're going to do covered belts, of course. Because covered belts look cooler.
So that's two screw belts and one plate belt. The reason we need two screw belts is we're going to have screws here and screws here. So this one's going to be framings. This one's already set up for um, uh, reinforced plates. So that's the reason, just in case you were wondering. Yep, I'm going to put that there. Alright, cool. And everything gets split off to the main. Um, everything's going to get split off to the main, um, the main central base. Or, so yeah, I was thinking about this. This is going to become a city center. You know why? Um, because on the opposite side of this, um, we're going to possibly we're going to possibly be building either through the 100 milestones. I don't know. I don't, they, uh, Andre Aquilas did say that this uh, that they were not going to update for update seven. So if we go to update seven, we may have to trade that the 100 milestone mod out for. Um, we might have to trade it out for uh, the um, other one, the uh, Satisfactory Plus. Or whatever, um, because that also does something similar. I hope I hope Andre Aquila decides to update the mod still for update seven. I would like to see that mod carry on into um, up into uh, 1.0. That would be awesome. Well, anyway, so from here, I think I'm going to I'm going to conveyor lift it up because we're going to be hooking into this system now. So we're going to do five and six, I think, um, for uh, splitters. Uh, conveyor splitter. So we're going to have two splits. We're going to have um, a split here. And a split here. One's going to be for um, screws, and one's going to be for plates. So, yeah. So I'm hoping this will work um, with the whole mod, the whole mod thing. So we just have five. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm hoping that this will link up with all those first ones. It looks like it will. Looks like it's lining up to this one. Yep, lining up to that one. Yep, lining up to that one. Lining up to that one. Lining up to that one. Up to that one. Okay, cool. Or should we have them stacked on top of each other? You know, kind of like a manifold system where it's like up and up and up and up and up. Uh, I don't know. That is a head scratcher. I don't. I don't think so. I think we should do this, um, and that'll work. Well, I mean, let's try it. See what it looks like. So if we do this, then we go P and separate it out. Just like that, and we go to Control Z, and then two, three, four, five, and then we get rid of what we don't need. Okay, 
Then we take this other splitter. And we line it up in the middle as well. With the other one. I hit H there. Oh. Okay. No, it is working. Yeah, it's not working now. It's not lining up. There we go. There we go. P. Separated out. Do not take that out of context. <laughs> Yep, then we just get rid of all the unwanted ones. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Should have hooked up the top one first. Oh well. Okay, that's hooked up. And now we do our conveyor lifts. Um, covered. I think we should do this. That's correct. Is that eight and ten? Or ten and eight. Yep. Ten and eight. Ten and eight. And then Ten and eight. There we go. Look at that beautiful. Yeah, and that's nice and level too. Nice and straight, nice and level, nice and clean. Back here and do the same thing on the other side. Ten and eight. Ten and eight. See, I don't even have to watch the camera, I could just look at the numbers. Ten and eight. Ten and eight. Ten and eight. Eight, ten, and eight. Okay. Oh, just <laughs> the lag there. All right, we'll start at this end again. These hooked up. All right, cool. I like it. We're going to set all these up for reinforced frames. Control C, and we're going to go Control Shift W V 
the V V over the side as well. V V V V and V. Okay. So that's now all hooked up. So let's uh, let's get some walls in place, I suppose. Two, three. I don't know if this is going to be tall enough. We'll have to see, though. Um, yeah, we'll just test it with that. Foundations. And then Z. Eh, it kind of cuts into it. Yeah, we'll we'll go one taller. Yeah, it's not like uh, it's gonna harm anything. So this one's gonna be four. Uh, four and then one. But we're gonna bring them back down to the first floor. Instead of the other ones where it goes up to the second floor. Just because of the way it is. Bring it down to the first floor. Um, then yeah, we need to do... The reason I'm doing the walls is because I need to do this. Two, three, four... And then in this wall here, we're going to put our our uh, two belts we're going to need. I suppose we could put it in this wall instead. Maybe put it... I don't know, like that, maybe? Because if I go like this, then I can run them along the wall above each other. Yeah, just below. Okay. That'll work. These aren't hooked up to power anymore. Let's fix that real quick. Just so they start making once we get them hooked up. So that's hooked, that's hooked. I'm just gonna... Okay, that won't work. I'm just gonna run it through the wall. I'll just hook it to this pole here. There we go. Just for now. Um, I might run the power a different way. Well, I probably, more than likely I will, but <laughs> we'll just run the power a different way. But now all this is all connected. Okay, so then we're going to get... Um, uh, we are going to get some wall supports, some normal ones. Because we're just doing the one. Is that correct there? Yeah. So I'm wondering if I go like this and like this if that will work. So we connect this one here. Uh, let's just let's just connect this one. I mean they kinda go inside of each other, but that'll that will work. Unless, 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 do a little bit of this. Oh, I could do splitters as well. Splitters would also work. 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to need to. I've had, I didn't have this many, um, reinforced plate makers before. So yeah, that works. That works really well. Okay. So then we're going to go to the center. Um, this line here, one, two, do it like that. Connect. Oh, this is going the wrong way. Fuck. Wait, this one's going the right way, but how is this one going? Oh, probably because of the lift, huh? Uh, covered lift. Yeah, I had it going the wrong way. There we go. Now it's going the right way. These ones are actually easy to tell because it's got little arrows on them. just like on the actual thing okay and then this should be oh oh oops <laughs> hold on I didn't realize that um, I had to go down as far or go down that far So if we do it like this, then. Is that level? It is, but man, is it weird. <laughs> Wait. How did that not line up? Oh. It's three, not two. That's right. It's the way these are, the way these are designed. it there. Now it's one down, so it's four meter. Oops. I'm just going to use a normal left, actually. Just a normal average, average left. There. And that one will hook into... How is that still not far? It's not back enough still. How is that? What the? Fucking conveyorless, man. They're so... They're so picky. About getting right angles on them. And it's really annoying, actually. That's the way they've always been, though. There. <laughs> Sheesh. That took way more effort than it needed to. that into there. Very nice. Okay. So those are now hooked up. Oh, that's not hooked up. Ah! Okay. Yep, that's way better than it would have been. Uh, would have been a little crazy the other way. Okay, so now we just got to focus on how we're going to get these up there. And actually what I should have done was done uh, two screw lines. Or two screw lines, like one screw and one plate, and then separated it over on this side of the street. That way I didn't have to cross the street with belts. Just any old belt. I might do that at some point. <laughs> at some point. So we're gonna yeah, use a uh, uh, covered lift. To go up to the level. Oh, can't afford. We need more reinforced plating. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll get rid of this. Get rid of 
that. Get rid of that. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we'll just uh, do that. And then that'll be the same as having a Mark II. Can I get rid of the... Yeah, get rid of that belt there. Because this is the same. If we go to walls... Then we go Mark II. Yep, same. We can re just replace them. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll split the... Or I'll have the screws come across and then down and across like these are. But I uh, have the screws uh, come down this way. And then that'll, that'll make much more sense. Yep, just like that. Yeah, that work. I was just thinking about something else. It's like, you know, I could actually move the plates over to this belt line and then have this belt line as the reinforced plates to join up. Um, to join up with the, uh, with the thing. Join up with the main belt line. And it can join in on this section. And then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll have screws coming down the side here. And then having a belt going back that'll join in. Yeah, let's let's do it that way actually. So I'll switch these back over. Okay. We need to get back up into there because we need to move that. Uh, move the the screw line's got to be moved completely out of the way. There's a belt line in between. Between there. That one. Okay. Just split off of that. Work. Then we'll bring that bell line. This one's not hooked up to anything, that's why it won't work. There. Now it'll work. Had it. <laughs> rid of the conveyor poles. I need to get rid of these belts as well. Need to give her room. There. 
is right next to the support. And then that'll be the reinforced plates tucked in. Ow. Okay. Trying to think here. What would be the best way? Reinforced plates. <laughs> We're almost done. Oh, this one's going to go to two hours. Woo! That went to two hours in a while. But the reinforced plates do take longer sometimes. Or, not reinforced plates, the assemblers take longer sometimes. It says mix, but. I don't believe that. But uh, yeah, we're just about done here. We just gotta get it hooked in. Just gotta get it hooked into the building. That's about right. Okay, there. Oh, that's too low. Needs to be one up. How did I get that wrong? <laughs> Look, it looks like it's one up high. <laughs> Oops. I can see it right there. Was it 17 meters? Yeah, those will line up. Yep, and it doesn't matter which goes to which. Okay, we're gonna need to rotate this one. I thought so, oh, I just wasn't sure yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Yeah, my voice is breaking. Really? <sighs> Alright. We're going to have to uh, address that. Sorry, like I said, I've been recording a lot today. So my voice is um, getting a little taxed. It's getting its work out. So every now and again, my... My vocal cords don't want to work. <laughs> One, two, and then write that in. Okay. And we'll just uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that, and get rid of that. 
There. That works. And then we'll figure out how to get the, um, we'll figure out how to get the, uh, reinforced platings in there next time. But, if by all accounts, we should be... Screws and plates. Look at that. We're now making reinforced platings. Holy crap. What an amazing feat. We're making reinforced platings. We made our first one with this factory. Yay. <laughs> There's my voice again. Yay. Anyway. That's, uh, now that we've done that, that's a great achievement. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. Um, yeah, so I think next time we'll uh, we'll start working on uh, framings and stuff like that. That'll be next week. We'll work on framings and, or no, we'll work on getting this completely, all of these uh, factories. we got four factories left. we got to completely redo. Um in order to get everything where it should be. But that'll be that'll be next time. And I guess until then, it's a goodbye.